penalties. They were all part of the mayor's race today. The action began early when one of the front runners says she was subjected to an inappropriate interview. Barb Higgins says her former campaign chair was unfairly attacked during a one on one chat on City TV this morning. The interview is creating a buzz on Twitter and among YouTube followers. And I will not stand by and hear you call someone a political screw up who is volunteering his time and taking his time away from his company. That is a Calgarian who cares about this city. I can see I irked you with that question. Yes, because it's inappropriate. This is a man who cares about the city. That interview followed a live segment on the show where Higgins took questions from the audience. In this case, the audience was made up of several members of the group Arts Vote, which is lobbying candidates to dedicate more resources to Calgary's art scene. Higgins says several of those audience members were disrespectful of her and the political process. clearly coming from a bias. So I'm going to Chris Hap joins us now to talk more about that. Chris, what is Hagen saying went wrong? Daryl, she says when she tried to answer questions about her plan arts policies, several people in the crowd were mocking her. They were rolling their eyes, sneering at her when she was trying to answer their questions. She says that, coupled with the interview, which she says was very unfair, prompted her to go talk to the arts vote group, arts vote group after and ask this question. As I walked across the studio and I said, who crapped in everybody's cornflakes this morning? I'm answering their questions with, you know, my highest level of integrity. I'm, I'm trying to respect their question. And, and I just felt that, that, you know, the gestures were disrespectful. There are people in the arts group, arts vote group, who I understand that they would be upset that they were included in this because they were respectful. And to those people in the arts vote group, I would like to apologize. And it was early morning, it's campaign, it's, uh, everyone's nerves are a bit frayed, but uh, I think she could have dealt with it a bit better. I, I'm really sorry that she had the impression that we were anything less than respectful. We are a nonpartisan group. Uh, we are certainly not lending support to one candidate over another, and we were really grateful for the opportunity to speak with her. Now, that was not the only big political news today. Another candidate dropped out of the mayor's race this morning. He says for the rest of the campaign, he'll be backing one of his rivals. Until... In the final days before the election, the race is a little less crowded. Today, I have decided to suspend my campaign and support Nahad Ninchi for our next mayor. Stewart says he's known for several days that he's just too far behind to win this race. A recent CTV poll... So again, read lots of developments today, and we'll get to more in just a moment. But first, let's go back, since this is a developing mm -hmm. story. What is it that Don Lovett wants right now well, after all this? Well, again, we talked to him earlier, and he said he wants an apology for the comments that we won't repeat because there's potentially legal action at play. Uh, Don Lovett says that he's not going to pursue that if he does get this apology from Mike McCourt on air and in written form. But this whole interview is something that's been captivating a lot of people online today. A lot of people have been watching it and making comments about it, about was it appropriate, was it not. Obviously, our analyst there, Dwayne Bratt, says he thought it was not. Uh, so we'll have to see how City TV will react and Mike McCourt in the next 24 hours to it. And other developments today. 